The Los Angeles Metro Rail is an urban rail transportation system serving Los Angeles County, California. It consists of six lines including two rapid transit subway lines, the B and D lines and four light rail lines, the A, C, L and E lines serving 93 stations. It connects with the Metro Busway bus rapid transit system, the G line Orange and J line Silver and also with the Metrolink commuter rail system. Metrorail is owned and operated by the Los Angeles County Metropolitan Transportation Authority Metro and started service in 1990. It has been extended significantly since that time and several further extensions are either in the works or being considered. The system served a ridership of 344,176 passengers on an average weekday in 2018. Los Angeles had two previous rail transit systems, the Pacific Electric Red Car and Los Angeles Railway Yellow Car Lines which operated between the late 19th century and the 1960s. The Metro Rail system utilizes many of their former rights of way and thus can be considered their indirect successor. Metro Rail Lines are for the most part named after colors and these colors are used to be distinguish the lines on Metro's maps. The one exception is the Expo line, which nevertheless is consistently colored aqua on maps. As of late 2019, Metro has begun to rename all of its rail and BRT lines with letters while leaving their colors unchanged on maps. Six Metro rail lines operate in Los Angeles County. The B and D lines follow a fully underground route subway and the C line follows a fully grade separated route. The A, E and L line routes run in a mix of environments including at grade street running, at grade in exclusive corridor, elevated and underground. The two heavy rail lines B and D share tracks between Union Station and Wilshire, Vermont, while two of the light rail lines A and E share tracks between 7th Cent Metro Center and Pico. Future system expansions are expected to use shared light rail tracks. The large majority of light rail stations are either at ground level or elevated while a handful are underground. All heavy rail stations are underground. Future light rail lines will add more underground stations to the system. Stations include at least two ticket vending machines, wayfinding maps, electronic message displays and bench seating. Each station features unique artwork reflecting local culture and or the function of transit in society. Stations are unstaffed during regular hours. Call boxes are available at most stations to allow employees at the Metro Rail Operations Control Center to assist passengers with concerns. Metro Rail uses a proof of payment fare system, with Metro's fare inspectors randomly inspecting trains and stations to ensure passengers have a valid fare product on their transit access pass, electronic fare card. When passengers enter a station, they encounter TAP card validators which collect fares when a customer places their card on top. Additionally, fare gates turnstiles connected to a TAP card validators are at all underground stations, all elevated stations and some service stations. Once passengers pass these validators or board a train, they have entered the fare pay zone where fare inspectors may check their TAP card to ensure they have a valid fare. Underground stations are typically large in size with a mezzanine level for fare sales and collection above a platform level where passengers board trains. Street level stations are typically more simple with platforms designed with shade canopies, separated from nearby roads and sidewalks where passengers can purchase fares and board a train. Subway stations and tunnels are designed to resist ground shaking that could occur at a specific location but there is no general magnitude of earthquake that the entire system is expected to withstand. The Metro Rail system has not suffered any damage due to earthquakes since its opening in 1993. Some suburban stations have free of paid park and ride lots available and most have bike storage available. Metro Rail maintains two distinct systems of rail, a light rail system and a heavy rail system. The heavy rail and light rail systems are incompatible with each other even though they both use 4 feet and 8 and half inches standard gauge. Metro's heavy rail lines are powered by third rail, whereas its light rail lines are powered by overhead catenary. 
also the two separate systems have different loading gauge and platforms are designed to match the separate car widths. All Metro Rail lines run regularly between 5 a.m. and midnight 7 days a week. Limited service on particular segments is provided after midnight and before 5 a.m. On Friday and Saturday evenings, service operates until approximately 2 a.m. Service operates every 5 to 10 minutes during the peak period, every 10 to 15 minutes during middays and during the day on weekends, and every 20 minutes during the evening until the close of service. The Metrorail system saw a total ridership of 108,017,525 passengers in 2018. As of the second quarter of 2018, the combined Metro Red and Purple lines averaged a weekday ridership of 135,400 passengers, making it the ninth busiest heavy rail rapid transit system in the United States. Metro's light rail system is the busiest in the United States with 203,300 passengers average weekday boardings during the second quarter of 2018. Half of the Metro Rail's trains and stations are patrolled by the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department under a law enforcement contract. The Los Angeles Police Department and Long Beach Police Department also patrol stations within their respective cities also under contract. The system is also monitored by security personnel, by closed-circuit television cameras in Metro Rail stations and subway cars. The Blue A-Line finally opened on July 14, 1990, some 27 years after the final streetcar line closed. Since that day, the system has been developed to its current size. Beginning in 2014, Metro saw its ridership numbers begin to decline. Many explanations exist for the decline, including safety concerns, an increase in ride-hailing service usage, and low-income housing opportunities drying up in LA because of the increase in rents a shortage of housing. In 2018, Metro approved renaming its rail lines using a letter-based scheme similar to those in New York City. Metro recommended the opening of the refurbished Blue Line A-Line in 2019 as a starting point to rename the lines, and then continuing with the opening of the Crenshaw LAX line finishing in time for the opening of the regional connector in 2022. The total system length is 105 miles.